Good morning, and welcome to St. Mary's Daily Prayer. Today is Thursday, June 25th, and our readings today are taken from the second book of Kings and from the Gospel of Matthew. And in them, we are reminded that we not only need to know the Word of God, but more importantly, we are to live it. Let us begin our celebration today in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed be the God of all consolation, who has shown us his great mercy. Blessed be God forever. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name, for you never deprive of your guidance those you set firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of Kings. Jehoiakim was 18 years old when he began to reign, and he reigned three months in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Nehushta, daughter of Elnathan of Jerusalem. He did evil in the sight of the Lord, just as his forebearers had done. At that time, the officials of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, attacked Jerusalem, and the city came under siege. Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, himself arrived at the city while his servants were besieging it. Then Jehoiakim, king of Judah, together with his mother, his ministers, officers, and functionaries, surrendered to the king of Babylon, who in the eighth year of his reign took him captive. And he carried off all the treasures of the temple of the Lord and those of the palace, and broke up the gold utensils that Solomon, king of Israel, had provided in the temple of the Lord, as the Lord had foretold. He deported all Jerusalem, all the officers and men of the army, 10,000 in number, and all of the craftsmen and smiths. None were left among the people of the land except the poor. He deported Jehoiakim to Babylon, and also led captive from Jerusalem to Babylon the king's mother and wives, his functionaries, and the chief men of the land. The king of Babylon also led captive to Babylon all 7,000 men of the army and a 1,000 craftsmen and smiths, all of them trained soldiers. In place of Jehoiakim, the king of Babylon appointed his uncle, Mataniah, as king, and changed his name to Zedekiah. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today's responsorial psalm is, For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. O God, the nations have come into your inheritance. They have defiled your holy temple. They have laid Jerusalem in ruins. They have given the corpses of your servants as food to the birds, the flesh of your faithful ones to the beasts of the earth. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. They have poured out their blood like water round about Jerusalem, and there is no one to bury them. We have become the reproach of our neighbors, the scorn and derision of those around us. O Lord, how long will you be angry forever? Will your jealousy burn like fire? For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. Remember not against us the iniquities of the past. May your compassion quickly come to us, for we are brought very low. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. Help us, O God, our Savior, because of the glory of your name. Deliver and pardon our sins for your name's sake. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, 
but only the one who does the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say to me that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name? Did we not drive out demons in your name? Did we not do mighty deeds in your name? Then I will declare to them solemnly, I never knew you. Depart from me, you evildoers. Everyone who listens to these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who built his house on rock. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house, but it did not collapse. It had been built solidly on rock. And everyone who listens to these words of mine but does not act on them will be like a fool who built his house on sand. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house, and it collapsed and was completely ruined. When Jesus finished these words, the crowds were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one with authority and not as the scribes. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. There are certainly no mixed messages in Jesus' words to the people today. He makes it very clear that only those who act on what they learn from him will be truly rewarded. It is a difficult task, no doubt, but those who live their lives built on a foundation of faith, prayer, and charity will be better prepared to handle the task. What do we need to help us to help others? Where does our foundation need reinforcement? Let us now bring our cares and concerns to our Heavenly Father. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. For our call to stewardship, that we may use our gifts to benefit those who need our help, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to the pandemic, that God will guide and inspire all the scientists and medical researchers working for a cure, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are in any way burdened by these difficult times, that the sick, the unemployed, the lonely, and the frontline and essential workers may find peace and comfort, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who need physical or spiritual healing, that God's gracious spirit will give their bodies and minds comfort and wholeness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, that they may be brought into the eternal peace of God through Jesus, who is the resurrection and the life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our own prayers we hold, in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we ask these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now let us pray as Christ the Lord has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, you desire for all to be brought to salvation. Let our work give you praise and carry out your loving plan. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Go in peace.